Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to take a look at how to do uh, water drop photography with the Pluto trigger and the Pluto valve. Now, I would like to say thank you to my Patreons for making this video possible. There's a link to that in the description if you'd like to check it out. And also, I'd like to apologize for the potato quality of this video. I'm recording this on an iPhone 4. Um, I have to use my current iPhone 6S here to run the Pluto and I have to use the 5D Mark III um, to do the photos. Now, I could do this with the 40D, but there are three different ways that I would like to show you to do this, and um, at least one of them requires the capabilities of the newer camera. So that's why we're here. Um, now that I got all of that out of the way, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, what I use as a solution. So I just mix up in a old cup here, an old cup here. Um, I use borax personally. I'm going to use one tablespoon for this cup. Uh, sometimes I put caro syrup in here or paint, um, but for just this demonstration I'm just going to use borax. I said I was going to do one, but that was wrong. I usually do two in a cup of water. So I'm going to go dissolve that. It will take pretty hot water to dissolve that and uh, stir it up and then I'll be back and show you the next step. Okay, so a couple of tips here. Uh, I've mixed up enough to fill this basin here and enough to fill the actual valve up top. Now, I fill this so that it's absolutely full. I fill it to it's just slightly overflowing and then that's where I leave it. And then to get the water into the uh, valve itself, I put it in one of these condiment bottles, and that helps to prevent spills and uh, whatnot. So I have, I built this stand for it. I don't know, I'll show you that in a second. It's out of PVC. And uh, it just holds it, you know, pretty steady. You can also use the magic arm. I use the clamp from the arm to hold it, and then I just have a PVC set up here. Now, never mind the paint. That has nothing to do with the water drops, so it's a different project entirely. So, now that you see that, I'm going to show you the first setup, and then we're going to get started. So, obviously, the Pluto connects to the phone via Bluetooth, and then I have the, the valve here runs into the Pluto. This goes into, the valve goes into this one right here, and then I go out of the camera port directly into the flash. We're just going to be using a single flash setup on this one, and the flash will be set at its lowest power rating, so 128th one, uh, is where it will be set up, and then the camera will be set in um, manual mode. We're going to do an f-stop of around... 11 and we're going to do a two second exposure so it will need to be dark for this i'll turn out the lights in a minute so two second iso 100 and uh, aperture of 11 and then to get the focus i just use the um the stopper from the actual valve so this goes inside of the valve at the top to keep the water from spilling out i will put this in the water or right at the top of the water to set my manual focus. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that and then kill the lights and then we're going to see what we can get. Okay, as you can see it's completely dark. That's why, because we're using the flash to stop the motion. We're always using the flash to stop the motion. But in this method in particular, uh, we're using a long shutter speed. Uh, it's probably the least complicated method to do this that there is. Um, I've been messing around with this for quite a while. This is not my preferred method to do this. I'm having troubles getting a collision, but I am getting some really nice crowns. So I'm going to just go sh ahead and show you what I've got going on here. Uh, I showed you the cord placement from the valve to the flash to the Pluto. Here is what I have for the settings. Now this is going to be very dependent on a lot of different things. The distance from the valve to your basin. Um, and the water temperature sometimes has an effect uh, with this. The thickness of the water has an effect on this from time to time. So 
you can't definitely say that these are correct or incorrect because really it varies every single time. Now, even with the electronics, this takes a lot of patience and testing to get right. So I'm going to go ahead and run you through the process here. So you're going to trigger the camera and then trigger the Pluto. Oh, the flash didn't fire. Uh, I talked at the camera too long there and the flash went into standby mode. Make sure your flash is not in standby mode. So we're going to trigger the camera, trigger the Pluto, you get the flash fire. Oh, and I did get a collision on that one. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got going on here. So that's what I just captured while recording. Uh, the things, my ancient iPhone struggling to focus here, but I did get a little bit of a collision. And so this is the simplest method uh, I would suggest perhaps putting a white card or some sort of reflector on the other side of the setup so you get a more even light. But for this demonstration, I just wanted to show you that this is possible without any frills. You can do this with just one flash, nothing else. Um, so that's the one flash setup. I'm going to readjust, turn the lights back on, and come back and show you my preferred method of doing this. Okay, I showed you that last method because it's accessible to everybody. All you need is a camera, one flash, and the Pluto trigger, and the valve, of course. Um, I did forget to mention a few things. I'm using a macro lens. It is in manual focus. Um, it has an image stabilization. <laughs> image stabilization. If yours has that, you'll need to make sure it's turned off. Um, I showed you how to set the focus. I mentioned that the flash actually stops the... Uh, drop the motion so you want to have your flash set as its lowest setting so 1 1 28th is the lowest setting on mine the reason why you do that is because the lowest power setting is going to give you the fastest flash um, that'll stop the motion whereas a longer flash duration gives you the chance of blurring which you have a high probability of that anyways with the macro lens um, so this is the more robust setup I guess um, this is the way that I do it I understand there's a lot of money worth of gear here um, now there are some cheaper flashes that you could do this with like Yong Yong Nu Guo I'm not sure how to pronounce it um, but I have the Canon 600 EX RTs two of those and then I have the STE3 transmitter the way that this works is I'm firing the flashes from this so the same setup here out of the valve into the Pluto and then the Pluto goes into the camera which fires the flashes so I'll show you how this works uh, this is the method that I've done the most experimenting with and I'm the most comfortable with here's the setup here I like this one because you can leave the lights on so we'll go ahead and we just hit play that's all you have to do with this one hit play it fires you heard the shutter go as you can see, it's a very quick event. Um, now, it's still very hit or miss. There's one that I took. You can see the pillar. There's one right before it. I got a collision. And the one right before that, I got a collision as well. So even with the electronics, there are no guarantees. I think that's part of the front of it, personally. But as you can see, it happens so fast that the uh, video camera almost doesn't even pick it up. And let's see what we got here. So it's just a lot of trial and error and uh, experimenting. Like I said, I wasn't going to get into the artistic side of this, but sometimes I put paint in the water, I put gels on the flashes, I'll put a different backdrop up. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. Um, really, the sky is the limit. So if you're interested in this, um, I'll put a link to buy, an affiliate link to buy the Pluto down below. It really helps me out if you guys make a purchase from that link. So thank you in advance for that and if you have any other questions at all please put them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them uh, there is one other thing that I haven't experimented with um, I don't know if it would work but I think that you could do the first method and plug the Pluto directly into the flash and then potentially trigger the camera with that because this does work as an infrared remote um, I have not personally tried that. It was just a thought that I had that it might potentially work. So it'd be like some s sort of combination of the two methods that I showed you here. Now, if you do want to use more than one flash with the first me method that I showed you, 
Um, Pluto does sell a splitter and cables, and you could just theoretically infinitely split off into as many cables and flashes as you wanted. So uh, I hope this answered a lot of your questions, and hopefully you guys will be uh, making awesome water drop collisions in no time. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my other videos, and have an awesome day.